Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. <laughs> I'm making this video on the same day that I made the last video. But you'll notice I have my dentures in this time. Uh, I've been out picking sticks up in the yard and decided why not make a video. Um, you got to think outside the box with your dentures and with everything in life. So to explain what's going on with my business, it's been rough. Um, I have handed out business cards to every business in town, every single one. And I did all that in six months. And I was going to go back around and hand out business cards again. And everywhere I went, went, oh, hey, I remember you. I still don't have any windshield chips. And after three days of doing that, I started thinking, I'm not getting any business. And I can't pay my bills. <sighs> Something on the camera. And I started thinking there has to be a way to attract more business. So I was thinking, I went to a couple of different places and talked to them about a banner or a sign of some sort that I could park my bike somewhere and, you know, like on a little offshoot on a road or something like that, I could park my bike somewhere and, and hang a sign on it that says, Rock Chip Repair here, stop here, or something like that, with the price on it, right? So they would know, they would be driving by, they would see it, they'd go, oh, rock chip repair, right there, I can just pull in and get this fixed. And not have to worry about trying to find a place. So I'm thinking outside the box, wow, that cover's wet. Oh shit, I just tore it. <sighs> It's been torn once already. Now it's tore again. Look, it's tore. I need a new cover. But it's a good thing. I was thinking about getting a new cover anyway because I was thinking about getting a sign or something that, you know, when I parked the bike, I could just put a sign on the side of the bike, so as people are driving, they see rock chip repair, $35, stop here. And I kept thinking, you know, every price I got was outrageous. I mean, for a little tiny sign to hang on the side of the bike, they want $325. And I thought, God, that's freaking expensive, man. I'll pay that much for a camera, but, <laughs> It's funny how we think. We think, well, you know, I paid that much for a camera. I'm not paying that much for a stupid sign. That would be 10 jobs, 10 chips. If I bought that sign and I got 10 repairs, that pays for the sign. But then I started thinking about it again. And I thought, look what I have. Look what I have right there. If I buy a new cover, because I've already had to have this one sewed once, and it's getting old, it's, you know, a year and a half old, whatever. But if I buy a new cover, look at what I have. Look at this. I could have embroidered on the side of this cover, rock chip repair, Stop here, $35. Then when I stop on the side of the road somewhere where people can pull off or a little offshoot or something like that, I can just put the cover on the bike. And guess how much it'll cost me, well not embroidered, but sewn on letters on the cover? A hundred bucks. A hundred bucks to have letters sewn onto the cover. And then I have a sign. And I don't want to 
have it on both sides of the cover because obviously this side doesn't sit up as straight but I could still I could still put it on both sides of the cover because you could still clearly see it. The issue is I would have to buy two covers. These covers are 175 bucks. So that's $350. And the reason I would have to buy two covers is real simple. One, I would use the one cover when I'm out and about and I pull off somewhere where I know people can pull off and get a rock chip repair. So I can just park the bike, put that cover on there with the signs that says stop here. So people would know, oh, I got to pull in to get a rock chip repair. I better, I got to pull in here and this guy will repair my rock chip. But when I'm parked here at the house, I want to have a regular cover to put on the bike so that I don't have people stomping and knocking on the door for a rock chip repair. So again, that's a chance I'm going to have to take. You have to take risks in business. Yes, I get calls, yes, I get appointments, but at this stage of the game, I am paying my bills, but I'm not getting ahead of the game. And the whole point of owning a business is to get ahead of the game. I could pay my bills just by getting a regular job. Sure, somebody asked me that. Well, dude, if you're having a hard time, why don't you just get a job? because all a job will do is pay my bills. It won't get me ahead of the game. So I have to think outside the box. And I have to think of new ways to come up with more business. So if I'm parked somewhere and believe it or not, I've spoken to a lot of gas stations around here that said, you're more than welcome to park out there and put a sign up and have people come and talk to you if they want a rock chip repair, but we don't want you bugging the customers in the parking lot. You can park out on the corner, and if somebody pulls up to you and says, hey, I got a rock chip, you're more than welcome to repair it, but we don't want you walking around bugging the customers, which is fine. I wouldn't walk around bugging the customers anyway. But this way, if I can put signs on the bike, I can park the bike close to the street and it'll just say, rock chip repair, stop here, 35 bucks. And if they can just pull into the gas station parking lot and, what are you doing, Annie? What are you doing, Annie, girl? What doing, Annie girl? Making dad da making daddy day all better. Making daddy day all better, be lover, huh? Make daddy day all better. Yeah? Is that right? Make daddy day all better? You come give daddy lovings. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> if I can just park on the corner of the parking lot and it just says rock chip repair here, stop here. $35 and they pull in and they pull up and they say, hey, I got a rock chip in my windshield. Boom, I can fix it. And that's more people because every person that pulls in will get a business card. That's more people that can refer me to other people. Now what I'll do is I will set appointments. If I'm parked in a parking lot, I will be there all day. So if I get calls that day, I will set those appointments for the following day. And I will either set those appointments for early morning or late in the afternoon so that I can go park and get as much business as possible while parked. 
I'm just thinking outside the box. And those covers are perfect signs. This one's old, so you can tell it's pretty slack. This is an old cover. I've had it since I bought the bike. So if I get two new covers and have the letters sewn on the sides, then I've got my signs and the bike is covered and I don't have to worry about that. And when I come home, I have a separate cover to put on the bike so people aren't stopping and knocking on the door. That's going to work out beautiful. Look at that. That would be a perfect sign. What do you think? That would be an amazing sign, in my opinion. It's right there. It's covering the bike, and it becomes a sign. <laughs> it's beautiful. I mean, just the whole idea of it is beautiful. That's what separates people like me from other people, is because I think outside the box. I don't go with the norm. I don't go with what's expected. I don't go with what everybody else is doing. Things of that nature. I think outside the box. And I think I have a perfect sign right there, just waiting to be turned into a sign. You have to do the same thing with your dentures. You have to think outside the box. I've said this in many videos. You cannot eat with your dentures the same way you ate with natural teeth. You can't do it. You have to think outside the box. So if you're struggling to eat, at the end of this video, a little circle will pop up with a beer bottle and a set of dentures in it. Oh, there it is. It just popped up on the screen. Click on that circle. That'll take you to my dentures versus food channel where I teach you how to eat properly. In the meantime, Keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.